Louis, a one each straw against these five day. Your thoughts on that? Um, I thought um, we deserve to win, but as I say, when you're defending corners and long throws at the end, the way we did, then it's not good enough in the end. But I thought we'd done enough in the game and we controlled last spells of the game. Um, so it's a, a sucker punch at the end there and it's, it's a hard one to take. I say it was quite frustrating we couldn't hold out at the end, especially after taking the lead through Lee Day. Yeah, I think the game, we didn't really, we had a few kind of half half chances in the first half and, and obviously the one Bob's clattered off the bar for the overheader and, and then we've had a few chances in, in the, the second half but um, sometimes in games like that you just need to, to take a goal from like a set play and we managed to get ahead late on, I think it was like the 86th, 87th minute for, for Lebo um, and you're just looking to see the game out then. Um, and we weren't able to do that. I think it was literally the last second of the game. Um, East Fife have scored and they've took obviously a point from the game. And on to Clyde next week here. Yeah, as I say, we just need to kind of put this behind us. Um, it's happened to us a few times, so we're going to, need to sit down and, and obviously go through it on Monday with the gaffer and the full squad and we need to kind of cut that out of our game. Um, and obviously, I don't know if it's a bit of nervousness towards the last few minutes of a game, but we need to be a bit um, more resilient. Um, and defending um, and just get that ball as far, far away from our goal as possible especially when it's the last kick of the game um, so as I say it's very disappointing um, we're, we're a, lot, a lot of the boys are down in there and they're changing them but as I say it's done now um, we need to just put it to, to bed and, and have a good working week ahead of us and start Monday